we're going to use synthetic division and the remainder theorem to find the value. So our function here is the f of x, and they want to know what happens when we have the f of 3. And one way that you've probably done this before, evaluate a function, is to actually plug in 3 everywhere where you see an x. And oftentimes that is very straightforward, and you can get your answer that way. But there's another way to do it, and it's called the remainder theorem, and we are going to do that right now. So we're going to set up synthetic division for this polynomial right here. And whatever you get as the remainder is going to be the same exact thing as if you would evaluate that polynomial, that function. So uh, let's go ahead and set up our synthetic division. We're going to use our coefficients. So 3, negative 13, 3, and negative 6. And then the number over here is going to be 3. All right, and let's do synthetic division. The first term drops down. Then we multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. And then we combine. Negative 13 plus 9, that's negative 4. And then we multiply. Negative 12. And then we combine. That is negative 9. And then we multiply. Negative 27 and then we combine and that's going to give us negative 33 and that's what the remainder theorem is it says that if you do synthetic division and you get a remainder in this case it's negative 33 that is the same answer as if you would evaluate by plugging in okay so maybe that's an exercise for you that you can do this right here and you can plug in that 3 and see that you get negative 33.